Okay. Homan says, Dear K, what is your idea about using two different strategies in a way that each one covering the other the, um, disadvantages? I mean, from psychological point of view. Um, I think it's good. It's good. I mean, if you're talking about the strategy of psychology, then um, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Yeah. But if you're talking about the strategies in terms of entries or exits, then I don't recommend because uh, oh, and I think you mean you mean by the strategies in terms of trades, right? Uh, I don't recommend. I recommend to use one strategy at a time because um, let's say you use one strategy and it has the disadvantage. And you use other strategy to cover the disadvantage, but this strategy also has disadvantage too. And if you have the second disadvantage, then you might want to add the third strategy to cover this disadvantage. But this third strategy and the first strategy may contradict. And that may confuse you. Uh, and I say this because it's my experience. It's due to my experience. I was using so many indicators in the past to cover all the disadvantages. One says so, and as I as I add more and more, one says it's buy, but the other says it's hold, and another says sell. And sometimes they may contradict. So. You have to also um, build a strategy of uh, what to do when these strategies contradict. But uh, it takes time to backtest. It takes time to prove these disadvantage will be um, uh, covered on the second strategy, third strategy. So instead of doing that, my recommendation is to focus only one strategy and master it. I mean, let so this is about the definition of in, this definition of disadvantage also. Let's say if you if you use one strategy and it has disadvantage, for example. Let's say when you when you trade in this specific timing, then you tend to lose in that case, instead of looking for the opportunity, I recommend to stay away. I recommend to not to use that strategy and simply stay away. Uh, and this is another uh, important aspect, I think, about the strategies is that, uh, you know, it tells you when not to enter trades. It tells you when not to see charts is uh, really what's important about the strategies. When we think about the strategies, especially in the Western teachings, when we think about the strategies, you may think about where to buy, where to sell, maybe where to exit, and so on. But um, I think it's, it's kind of rare to focus when not to trade. But when not to trade is, I think, the most important. Because if you know it, if you know when not to trade, then you, re you can reduce the meaningless trades and uh, you, can, you can only uh, uh, be in the right spots. You know, that brings you higher probabilities. You may take less trades, you may have less opportunities, but uh, it actually gives you the exact entry timings, and I think that's much better than uh, adding more strategies and indicators and try to cover uh, the other strategies. So, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, less is more is really true. 
yeah, you have to take less trades, you have to take less strategies and less indicators, then you should be fine. But I say this, I say this because I've tried. I've tried so many indicators before. So if you haven't tried, then maybe you can try. You, may, you can try using multiple indicators, multiple strategies, and see how it goes. If it goes well, it's okay. But if it doesn't work, then you might want to come back to the simple strategy and master that simple strategy because it becomes the most powerful than hybrid of other strategies and indicators. Thank you for watching the video until the end. And before ending this video, I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology. And this is my favorite. And the proverb is never try to get a head and tail the fish and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And, but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is. And that's why whenever you see trends, you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part. So that means uh, you can, after you confirm the trend happening, you enter the market, but that will be too early. You have to confirm the trend, continuous trend, uptrend or downtrend, but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market goes flat in sideways after the big trends, you never exit just because the market retraces. That retracement might still be up temporary and the market may go up continuously. But sometimes the market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse end wave, maybe some kind of reverse confirmations and the market starts to go down continuously. Then you exit there with some profit. So never try to get the head and tail of the fish is actually that is very important. And my strategy is built in this way. So hopefully you stick to this idea and become a successful trend follower. So until I see you on the next one, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.